Good morning, friends. Today, I got a, well, yesterday, I got a message on my door from UPS that a package has been delivered for me. And they would have left it here, but um, it's at the Ice Hop mailbox place in San Antonio Tlacopan. So uh, we're going to go there and I'm going to take you along. One of the perks of having a YouTube channel is that people contact you and say, hey, can we send you um, our product? Uh, and we'll do that if you'll review it on your channel. So I've agreed to two of these so far. and It's my first time doing this. Um, one of them is a double suction cup uh, mount for the car, a uh, camera mount for the car. And I'm really looking forward to trying that because, well, you know, we're going to be doing this driving around town series that I'm doing here recently. The other one is a dash cam that takes pictures not only forward, but uh, if you're not in the car, you can set it to take pictures inside the car. So uh, I think it's the double suction cup camera mount. I hope it is today because um, that'll be really nice driving around. So. Let's go to San Antonio Tlacapan. My tongue has a problem with that one. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, they're not open. It's too early. The big door is still closed. Let's go down to the main plaza in San Antonio Tlacapan. It's down here by the church. Iglesia. Somebody asked me in a comment the other day, what was I driving in my last video? That's it, it's a BMW Roadster. Over there, people are having breakfast at the little kiosks. This is the main plaza in San Antonio, Tlacopan. It's about uh, quarter to nine in the morning. And it's very nice and peaceful here. Ice cream, Amasia, Photo Studio, Novelties, and City Hall. I know that we like listening to those birds, but all of that ambient noise is the reason that I do voiceovers while I'm doing these tours. Mexico is not a quiet place. Sometimes, not any time of the day. This is the church in San Antonio called the Iglesia. And down here is a restaurant called Adelitas. Adelitas, when I first came to town, was a, an Italian restaurant named Diana's. And Diana met a new boyfriend and moved off to Texas and so the building was for sale and Lynn and I nearly bought it because the, the, the property goes way on through to the next street and it had a couple of RV spaces back there so we were very interested and we didn't buy it because it was right next to the church here and we figured that several nights a week and on Sundays we would be in church whether we liked it or not. I'm walking down here to take a picture of this restaurant for my friend Mike. He and I and his son John had lunch there when he visited Lake Chapala. It's called Mario's. It's right off of the plaza here and I recommend it. We're on our way back up here to Ice Hop Mail to see if I can get my package. Right here on the corner is uh, Tony's 
uh, great chicken strips in a deli, a little restaurant there. A hardware store, and across the next street, ISOP Mail. This is a mailbox place, and I'll tell you some more about it after I get my package. ISOP is also a business center if you need copying or faxing or packaging or whatever. They have uh, mailboxes that you can rent and lots of uh, packages received. Hi there. Well, I'm back home and I got the package and we're going to do an unboxing. But first, I thought I'd tell you about ISOP Mail. Um, I picked up a brochure and it says that they will accept packages from UPS, FedEx, DHL, Estafeta, and uh, I think that's a symbol for the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, they would receive mail. Um, and for those other things, you can send packages out from there. Uh, reinventing service just for you. Subscribe to U.S. newspapers and magazines and receive them directly, along with any other correspondence, in your local mailbox in the United States. And um, that would be a mailbox, I believe, in Texas somewhere. And the way this works is that they, um, you, your, your address is in Texas, and then they bulk ship everybody, all their clients' stuff, uh, to the local ISOP office. So your packages and purchases made in the United States can now be forwarded to your local iBox. Custom procedures will be taken care of for you and those costs, duties, shipping and handling will be financed until you pick it up. In other words, they pay for it and then you pay them back. If you're traveling or moving to Mexico, you can get, local Mexican, get a local Mexican mailing address which would allow you to receive legal documents, immigration papers, and any other correspondence while still away. We can even forward your mail to anywhere you may be. So, it's a uh, mail service and as you saw when I was in there, they have lots of mailboxes and you can rent them. So here's the cost. Um, standard monthly weight limit up to four pounds of mail. Uh, and you can get it for one month up to six months for 36 US dollars per month. Uh, seven months to 12 months is 35 dollars per month. And if you go over the four pounds, it's an extra 14 dollars per kilogram. A kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And then there's a plus service that costs a little bit more money and a premium service, which is uh, one to six months, $59. Seven to twelve months, fifty-eight dollars per month, and extra kilograms are dropped to nine dollars per uh, kilogram. And you can get an additional month for free if you pay a year in advance. And they have offices in Chapala, Puerto Vallarta, Guadalajara, Bucerías. That's uh, I think that's north of Puerto Vallarta. Another office in Guadalajara, another one in Puerto Vallarta, and San Juan Cosala. The one that uh, I got the brochure at, and the one I went to today, was in San Antonio Tlacopan. So, let's do an unboxing. I, I think this is going to be that suction cup mount. So, let's open this up. It's not the suction cup mount, it's the camera. Cool. Well, I'll have some reading and studying to do, 
It says Acaso Trace One HD Dual 1080p Car DVR with Sony Starvis technology. I'll have to study up on that, get it mounted in the car, see how it works. Well, as soon as, as soon as I'm smart enough to open the package, there we go. I'll be doing a video review of the Akasa Trace One dash cam after I've had a few days to play with it. But today, I think I'm going to go back to San Antonio Tlacapan and drive you around on some of the back roads where the houses aren't quite as pretty as some other neighborhoods. Uh, if you live in San Antonio, please don't think that I'm presenting this as the representative uh, housing areas of San Antonio. San Antonio has a lot of very, very nice homes. And uh, it also has El Parque, which is a very well-guarded and gated community that uh, has more modest homes where a lot of expats live. Um, there are a lot of parts of San Antonio Tlacapan. So uh, the places that I intend to go today, I'll probably go in my van because my BMW will not go some of the places that I'm going because of uh, rough streets and high topes and whatever. Anyway, let's go back to San Antonio Tlacapan and go for a ride on some of the back roads. So I got a good suggestion that I show on the map where we're going and where we've been. And uh, I really did think that was a good suggestion and I'm going to try it, but it turned out to not be as easy as I thought. First I had to find a map, which I did. And then I had to iron it to get all the wrinkles out, which I did, and that didn't work real well. And uh, then I tried setting up the camera and, well, long story short, I'm just going to hold my iPhone in my hand as I talk to you about the map. So this is a map of the area and to orient you, this big blue here, I got a chopstick. There's a story about that chopstick too. Remind me to tell you that story. This is Guadalajara and this is Lake Chapala. Lake Chapala is 80 kilometers long and 20 kilometers wide at its widest point. And when we refer to Lakeside, we're talking about right there is Hokotepec and right there is Chapala. Ahihik uh, is here, so that 20 kilometers is what we refer to as Lakeside. Today we're going to San Antonio Talacapan, which is right there. So now I've turned the map over and it's a street map. This is Ahihik and San Antonio and over here is Chapala. There are lots more neighborhoods to explore. Um, Rancho del Oro, Tio Domingo, uh, Las Salvias, where is that? Uh, Via Nova, Las Salvias. That's the Libramento, that road taking off there. Um, and this is San Antonio. Oh, let's talk about where we went the other day. We went to La Floresta. Okay, Ahihik, La Floresta. Uh, last video, we went off the road right here. And we went up and we drove around the block. That's where the tile house is. Around this block up there, drove over here to the dead end, came back down that street. That's where the house with the skinny windows is. Back down across the carretera where the Killer Dude's restaurant is, was. Down here, we went over here to the end of uh, the Ahihik Wednesday Tiangas, the bottom of it, and back. That's where the horses are being rented. 
We came down here, went to the hotel, um, Real de Chapala, back up here, over here, over here, and then we went into San Antonio Tlacopan and back up to the carretera. Today, we're going to um, San Antonio, and I don't know exactly where I'm going to go. This morning, uh, which you already saw, I went to here. That's where Ice Hop is, and it wasn't open, so I went down here to the plaza, and then I drove back up that street and went to the Ice Hop to pick up the package. I'm going to go back and go down and drive around down in here. And uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to go. Getting lost might be part of the fun. Want to see my RV? That's a picture of my 40-foot Monaco diesel pusher with my little Suzuki Toad behind it. I came back to take this picture to apologize while I was sitting over here editing because I realized my iPhone picks up a great echo in this room. Sorry about that. Back to editing. We're in San Antonio and between the continuously walled streets coming down off of the Carretera, there's a zone between there and the lake where the houses are uh, more rural. And then as you get closer to the lake, uh, lake front, you start to get very nice and much bigger houses once again. But there's this area between city and lakeside in lower San Antonio where it looks like this. There's some new construction going on there. A police truck. As we turn the corner here, now we're headed towards the lake and we'll start seeing nicer houses down here. some dog content and this is why I didn't come in my BMW it's a goat nanny nanny really goat so Usually I do voiceovers with this because there's a lot of noise in the van when I'm driving and the AC is on but uh, what you didn't know is that I have a co-pilot today and she was talking. What'd you say? Come on, Nanny Nanny Billy Goat. Nanny Nanny Billy Goat. Okay. Yeah, I say. Well, he, either it's none of my business or he didn't like my Spanish. Let's go down to the lake and see what's going on. Say hi, Lynn. <laughs> that 
would be the beginning of Chapala down there. Up here on the hill, this is in Chula Vista Norte, up above the Caratara. Those are called the baby bottle houses. This is Mojarras, hey. the pesca. The pesca, aquí de la laguna. Pero se llama de usted. Ah, Cesar. <laughs> Cesar? Sí. <laughs> so, you gonna limpia out of esta? Ah, cuidado, cuidado. Sí, estoy limpiando las. Está para empezar. ¿Qué clase es esta? ¿Es mi igual? Esta es lobina. Lobin? Lobina. Lobina. Hey. This, uh... Esta es como para el caldo. Sí. Sí, la otra es como para dorar. So, or, mm, caldito, 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 caldito. Ah. Está bien. Sí. Papá, mira, ya te ayudamos con esta. Sí. No, todavía tienes camas, César. Gracias, César. André, que le vaya bien. <ríe> Buen día. Igualmente. So I'm taking a picture of this because I have RV fans and I do get questions about well could I buy some property and park my RV on it while I'm building a house. I think that's exactly what that guy's doing. This guy has about a hundred cupcakes in the back of his van. So maybe there's a big party going on down here. That would explain the cars and the people. Mexicans do know how to party, and it is the weekend. There is a lot of buildable lots left down in this part of San Antonio. Whether or not it's for sale, I have no idea. Oh, I love this house because it's beautiful, but also because that yellow lap strake there, that's not actually lap siding. It's concrete made to look that way. Purple, I like purple. More purple. Another vacant lot. Oh, this place is highly decorated and goes way back there. Nice family out for a stroll with their daughter and the dogs. Ooh, ooh, dog content. Well, since the name of the channel is JC Travel Stories, perhaps I should tell you a story. I had flown from my home here in Mexico up to Portland, Oregon to take care of some business, and I was staying with my daughter and my son-in-law, Calvin. And Calvin is Korean. And before I tell you this story, you should know that we are family, and we occasionally pick on each other, and our ethnicities are not necessarily off-limits. Anyway, Calvin and I are at a pho restaurant. Pho is Vietnamese beef noodle soup. And all the Asians, of course, are eating their liquid broth and their noodles with chopsticks and I very seriously in my quiet voice asked Calvin if he would give me a lesson with the chopsticks. And Calvin in his way too loud voice said I'd rather give you a fork. Well skip ahead six months. We are in Rapid City, South Dakota with a small family reunion. There are about 10 of us. And around uh, 10.30 at night, we decided to go out to a Perkins restaurant for some dessert. And we all ordered a piece of pie or cake. Or, and uh, when the food came, there's about, like I said, 10 of us in the family. 
sitting around the table. And the restaurant's pretty full. And uh, Calvin asks somebody to pass him a fork. And I, in my way too loud voice, said, I'd rather give you some chopsticks. Now, the family table erupted in laughter because they all knew the story. And the rest of the restaurant, now you have to realize Calvin may have been the only Asian in South Dakota at that time. The rest of the restaurant hung their heads and looked away, saying things like, Oh, I don't think that was politically correct. Well, skip ahead one more year for the rest of the story. Some friends from Vancouver, Washington were visiting, and I, sitting in my living room on that purple couch, was telling Pamela the story about Calvin saying he'd like to give me a fork. As I finished the story, she reached into her purse and pulled this out. Calvin sent this to you, the chopstick. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.